All right. Good evening. This is Luke Thomas, QuakePredictions.com here at the Earthquake Channel. It is 10.55 in the evening here in California on Sunday, January 17th, 2021. And we're going to look at the uh, earthquakes that have hit during the last uh, 24 hours. And we're going to go over there right now here. So 51 earthquakes, significant earthquakes during the last uh, 24 hours. This one up here in uh, Russia was a 5.4. That was the largest quake in the last 24 hours. So not all that uh, big of an earthquake. We're going to go to California next. And we got a 3.5 in western Nevada. And that was the biggest quake during the last 24 hours here in the California, Nevada area. And things are going to get busier now uh, during the next, um, well, during the next uh, 48 hours about. So we're going to go over to uh, the Los Angeles, uh, San Francisco Bay forecast. And you see this 3.6 that hit on the 14th, 4.2 on the 16th. And now coming up in San Francisco Bay, the 18th through the 20th, most likely on the 19th, something significant. And the highest risk is actually northwest of Los Angeles, uh, within 50 miles of Oxnard. We have a 6.0 earthquake as possible northwest of LA from uh, starting about now, the uh, late in the 17th, 18th, and then into the 19th and the 20th. Most likely on the 19th, but any time between now and the next 48 hours or so, a 6.0 is possible northwest of LA. And you can see this uh, very high risk extends from San Francisco Bay all the way to northwest uh, LA. The highest risk is actually right here in uh, within 50 miles of Oxnard, California. So keep an eye out for that and uh, warn your friends and family. Strong earthquake is uh, possible during the next uh, 48 hours in California generally and uh, more, more specifically more likely northwest of uh, Los Angeles near Oxnard. All right, let's take a look around the, the world uh, forecast here in Anchorage, 88% uh, on the 18th, get a 4.0 is possible then. And on the 20th to the 21st, a 4.5 is possible in the Anchorage area. In Athens, Greece, uh, we had this high risk here and a, uh, we had a a bunch of 4.0 to 4.5s, and then a 5.2 hit uh, late in the 12th on this uh, peak in risk. And now we're about here on the 18th, and things are getting quieter there in, uh, in Athens, Greece. Cyprus. Risk was uh, reaching a peak around the 15th, and now it's uh, much lower in about 40% risk uh, during the next uh, 48 hours. Hilo, Hawaii, things are getting busy. We had a 4.0 on this peak in risk on the uh, late in the 14th into the 15th there. And these are on the 17th. And this uh, peak in risk is on the 18th into the 19th. So we could get a, a 4.5 or even a 5.0 in the Hilo area during the uh, next uh, 24 to 36 hours. Istanbul, Turkey. All right. The risk is uh, falling right now. It's uh, at about 40% uh, right now. 40, well, about 50% now, and it's falling during the next 48 hours. Jakarta, Indonesia. We had a 5.2 on this peak and spike in risk here. And then uh, we have another spike here on the 20th and another larger one on the 21st. So either of those could produce a 5.5 earthquake in the Jakarta area. And then once again, Los Angeles looking for a 6.0 as possible in California, most likely Northwest of LA. And then Naples, Italy, We'll be adding other major uh, cities around the world, but we're going to start with Naples, Italy. Uh, the risk is uh, spiking at about 80% uh, on the 18th. So during the next 24 hours, get a um, 3.5 or so in that area. Quito, Ecuador. This is an interesting forecast. 
And when this was uh, spiking here on uh, at 100% on the 15th, we had a bunch of quakes off the uh, northwest coast of Ecuador. And now the risk is uh, more around uh, 40 to 50% during the next uh, 48 hours. So during this uh, spike in risk, we had quite a few quakes off the uh, northwest coast of Ecuador. And right now, during the next 48 hours, is just a moderate 40 to 50% risk. And San Jose, Costa Rica. Uh, when this uh, spiked here, this on the 15th, we had a 5.2 uh, south of Panama. And now we're right about here. So we could get a 4.5 in the vicinity of San Jose, Costa Rica on the 18th. San Juan, Puerto Rico. This is the 18th into the 19th. We could get a, uh, well, 4.0 to 5.0 is possible on the 18th and 19th when this uh, peaks here on the, at, uh, in uh, Puerto Rico. San Santiago, Chile. All right, we have a... Uh, a spike in risk on the 17th here. And you notice we have uh, three quakes, 4.7, 4.6, and 4.5, all around the Santiago, Chile area. And those all occurred on the on the 17th. And that was on the spike in risk right here. And then we have another spike in risk on the 19th. So we could get uh, some significant uh, 4.5s around Santiago on the 19th. And then it starts rising on the 20, late on the 20th into the 21st again. Santiago, Seattle, Washington. We had a spike in risk on the 17th here. And another one on 82% on the 18th and 19th. We could get a uh, 3.5 or 4.0 on that spike in risk. Um, it looks like the late on the 18th into the 19th. And Taiwan, things are starting to get busy there. This one produced a 5.1. And then we have three uh, spikes in risk here on the uh, 18th, 19th, and the 20th. And those could uh, produce a 5.5 in and around uh, Taiwan. Tokyo's forecast, Tokyo, Japan. Um, this spike in risk on the 18th could produce a 5.5 around Tokyo. And this could produce a 6.0 on the 20th of January. So watch for those two uh, significant spikes in risk. All right, let's go back to California. And again, we're going to be adding a bunch of other cities as well around the world, major cities. But that's it for tonight. We'll add a bunch more tomorrow. Once again, here's the top story, news story. Uh, it's uh, Los Angeles. Uh, it's a strong earthquake is possible in California, most likely to hit along the West Coast between San Francisco and LA, and even more likely Northwest of LA near Oxnard, within 50 miles of Oxnard. So the Northwest suburbs of uh, Los Angeles basin. And uh, this could happen during the next 48 hours. So keep an eye on that. And uh, we will talk to you again tomorrow, which will be the, uh, on the 18th, a Monday night. And we will be getting even closer to uh, this peak in risk here. And we might have some foreshocks by then and have a better idea of exactly where it's going to hit. So once again, thanks for, uh, for joining us here at uh, quakeprediction.com. And um, we'll keep you informed and keep you safe and keep you aware of all the earthquakes around the world. Uh, we'll be adding uh, new, uh, new uh, major cities, uh, forecast areas around the globe during the next uh, few days, and uh, we'll keep you updated. So thanks again, and please subscribe if you haven't, and we'll talk to you again uh, Monday night. Stay safe. Big quake coming to California, most likely northwest of Los Angeles. Thank you so much.